guys, welcome back to another video. We're finally working on the 350 again. Uh, I do apologise if there's wind in this video. It's been very hard to record and sort things out while obviously the weather has been as it is. Hence why I've not been able to work on the 350 because the jobs I've got on it um, require quite a lot of time and obviously it's been raining and such. So today what we're going to do is we're going to give the 350 a little bit more stability. I'm going to chuck in a new uh, strut brace. I'm going to change a few bolts. Uh, to make the engine bay look a little bit better and also we've got a new gear stick and I'll explain why I've changed the gear stick as well. So it's been a while since you guys have seen this engine bay. Uh, so what we're going to replace is this here, this bar that goes all the way across. I've got a brand new one. I was going to reuse this one and tidy it all up and de-rust it and everything else but then I thought what's the point when I may as well just get a brand new one. So the one I've got um, is a decent quality it's a lot thicker than this it's about this thick I will show you that but I won't obviously show you until I start to put that in the reason we do a strut brace is to give us a little bit more stability when we're going around corners now believe it or not this is a little bit hard to explain kind of but when a car is driving and you go around the corner such the actual frame of the body distorts you think if you make a, um, a Lego house and you push on two corners uh, opposite directions they it will distort into like say a diamond shape so that is the same with a car now um, it, that is an extreme case but it does happen so this is why we have a lot of support so it gives us a lot of stability around corners uh, helps us with steering handling and such as well now the cars do have these underneath which we will get to replacing eventually but the one I've got for now is just for the engine bay This piece here used to get any rounded bolts off. That was very, very tight, as you could see. I don't think these bolts have ever been off. I have WD forted it as well. I tell you something, guys, that was not tight. Um, these bolts have never been off, so as I mentioned, that's why I've used a bit of WD 40 um, and it just wasn't biting. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So it looks a little bit weird without the strut brace in. Really, really weird. But I want to get the new one now uh, and give you guys a little peek. I've got the new one here. As you can see, it's a lot thicker than the old one. A hell of a lot thicker. So this should just be a direct fit. Uh, I will mention as well, there is a few clips up here that you do have to undo. Uh, this one and this one, they literally just push straight through. Very, very simple. So, one thing I have to be careful of with this is the spacing. Make sure there's enough space when it sits over here not to <coughs> scratch anything, which it should. But, however, eventually I'm going to fit a plenum space. And what that means is that's going to lift this up a tiny little bit. The plenum spacer sits down here in between... Um, the block and the top so that basically allows air to circulate easier through the induction kit gives you a bit more power increase and uh, gets all the cylinders firing equally so what I'm going to do now guys is just reverse this process pretty straightforward really so I'm going to jump straight in and um, sort that out so this literally just sits back over the existing bits just like that um, it looks like a nice fit to be honest with you. Let's uh, just have a look underneath here. You can see there it looks like a really nice fit. So what's going to happen there when I do get the plenum spacer, that's either going to rub on that or what I can do is put um, a washer just underneath the bolts to lift it up an extra 5-10mm. That should give us enough clearance but this should give us such stability, better stability over the other. I've gone ahead and put the bolts in. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using M10 um, bolts by 20mm. I've had to reuse these down here because the bolts I bought is completely different size. So you need to get um, an M10 bolt to sit on the top which is in so far um, you have this to adjust as well which we can get a little bit of leave away as you can see so I may bring that all the way up but you've got to be careful obviously your bonnet so I might actually just leave that down because it's not affecting anything else so 
I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. Guys, I tell you something, don't you just love it when you buy a car? It's so good. Oh, look at that. I've done is I've tightened all them bolts. Uh, I've replaced the other bits that I can. So I'm gonna flip to the other camera and just show you properly how this looks now, but it looks so so good, it looks so much better. Oh so as you can see it look, guys. Got a nice little sticker on there, oil slick. Sets it off quite nicely so so much better um, these have been tightened up as I said I've had to reuse these but I'm gonna get some more uh, M12 nuts to put over the top but that looks so much better guys the chrome is coming in I'm gonna try and get this engine bay as much red and chrome I think as I possibly can to make it so it looks absolutely bang on alright guys so we're in the 350 I've got a new gear stick which is a Sparco gear stick now the reason that I'm switching this is because the current gear stick that I've got it spins, it's on a rubber, it's not on a metal so it's not actually twisted in if that makes sense so when I'm driving it I can feel it move and I really really don't like it now this is some weighted stuff as well so this is going to be literally straightforward I'll show you the rubber bit underneath what I mean um, it just moves around and spins around a lot which I, I really really don't like the feel of so we're going to get ahead and Get ahead, go ahead and um, change this out now. This is the one I've got currently, but it just moves so much, which I really, really do not like one bit. It's literally just on a rubber, so you just have to twist it and pull it up as you go. Also, this red is going, guys. I just haven't got chance to take it off. It was just a tester, so it is coming off 100%. Let me know what colour you reckon I should do this or whether you think I should do a carbon or something like that because I am swaying towards the carbon more. But as you can see here, um, it's got like a little rubber thing inside and that obviously doesn't bind on this very well. So that causes it to move. Now obviously that doesn't fit but what we have in here bits that fit inside. So. We select one. So what I've gone here is for the largest one, I believe this is 12 millimeters. 12 millimeters. There they come with 8, 10, and 12 in this kit that I've bought. So what I'm gonna do is just bind that in there. Oh, it sits so nice. So what I'll do is I'll bring this up um, and around this, but I'll save that for when I take all this off to resort that so as you can see there it looks so much nicer than this so so much nicer um, it feels a lot better it's it feels I want to say heavy but it's more it's it feels like you've got more control because it's not going all over the place it's not spinning or doing anything else like this so I'm so glad I got the Sparco one instead absolutely awesome looks nice we are going to go with subtle red themes I do have a steering wheel, which is going to be getting on, but um, I have an issue with a bolt under here. The guy who sold me the car must have had a go at trying to get this off, and he's absolutely rounded the bolt off, so we're going to get to that. So a few things um, I want to go through. I am doing a mods video for the VXR of what I've got on it. Also, things to look out for the VXR. I'm going to tell you the future plans in a different video, and also... The 350 is getting some new alloys, and so is the VXR. So that is a little sneak peek there. And the alloys that I am, I've, well, I should be getting, it, it's going to change. It's going to change it. Now, you might be thinking, you know what alloys I'm getting for the 350. However, you'll be, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Um, and there is a reason behind it, but I'll explain that in another video. So, like I said, the red's coming off on the interior of the 350. It's been difficult to record because of the weather, so I've kind of done this video as a quick one, just because it's something I can do 
Um, I've got radiators and such that I need to put on the 350, but as you can imagine, it's a bigger job than just changing a few bolts. So, like I said, thank you guys for coming back. I appreciate the support from you guys. Uh, smash that like button, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.